Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, July 27th, 2009. This morning I'd like to take a look at some headless image stuff that I didn't cover last time when I went over debugging headless images. And this is not so much for debugging them as for letting them run their course on the server. I'll show you what I mean. When you prepare your server image, one thing you can do in the script that you started with is this. You can go down here and you can hand it a different notifier. So what you can do is you can take the runtime notifier, which by default, when it hits an unhandled exception, it's going to poof, it's going to blow up and just drop the headless image dot debug, you know, dash debug dot im dot cha, and then it's going to die. Well, what you can do instead is hand it one that does something more interesting. And the more interesting thing in many cases is to not quit, but to just take the current process, and that would be the one that's suspended, and that's this one from the list that I went through last week, and instead of ditching, just print the stack. So with this, I can do something like this and show you what the stack looks like in memory. More interesting though is this. Let's go and bring up a system browser. And this is a web velocity image, which is why the launcher looks a little weird, but that's what I had lying around. So let's find the class process. And in here, under printing, one of the things you'll find is this additional method, dump stack to file named. So you can do a couple different things you can just dump the stack out to a file, then you can invoke the mail system that I've gone through before, send an email to yourself with the stack, and that way, whenever something goes wrong, instead of having the image quit, you can just handle the unhandled exception in your new notifier, have it dump the stack to a file, attach the file to an email, email yourself, then you can try to bring it up in the home development system that you're working in, and then apply a patch to the server later. So that way your server can run merrily along without having to deal with dropping out at a time that it may not be convenient for it to drop out. Anyway, that's about it for today. Just wanted to briefly cover that. Till next time, have fun with small talk.